Greetings AFA, CWA brothers and sisters. My name is Deborah Crowley, MEC President for Spirit Airlines AFA CWA. Welcome to this year's 46th Annual Board of Directors meeting and thank you for being here with us. As you know, we've had a very eventful year. AFA CWA is the only flight attendant union that solely represents flight attendants' concerns within the AFL CIO, the 13 million member American Labor Federation. This conference is coming two weeks after the FAA published a safety alert for operators, number 18003, which advises airlines to enhance their operational procedures to minimize onboard exposure to smoke and fumes. It explicitly references the need for airlines to assist policies and procedures regarding odor, smoke, and or fume recognition, differentiation, and mitigation. AFA CWA led the way to get the International Civil Aviation Organization's attention on this issue. AFA was an active member of the ICAO task group that published Circular 344 in 2015, which specifically covers what the FAA is recommending in the safety alert. Our union is pushing for congressional passage of a Cabin Air Safety Act that would slap tough regulations on the airlines requiring them to better monitor and respond to toxic fume events. Our union also saw some great victories, including the ratification of several joint collective bargaining agreements covering flight attendants at Alaska Airlines and former Virgin America, Silver Airways, and Omni Air International. Air Transport International reached a tentative agreement as well. Our AFA CWA International President, Sarah Nelson, testified before the Congressional Caucus for Women's Issues on Combating Sexual Harassment and Assault in the Service Sector. Frontier Airlines flight attendants engaged passengers to aid in bargaining for a fair contract, just to name a few. It is a great honor and privilege for me, on behalf of the Flight Attendant Group of Spirit Airlines, to welcome you all to the 46th Annual Board of Directors Meeting, which we are hosting in the beautiful city of Atlantic City. This annual meeting is no doubt an indication of AFA CWA's commitment and support towards ensuring safe air transportation and fair living wages for aviation's first responders. We continue to make a difference in the aviation industry and we do it all with your support. This is such an exciting time here at Spirit Airlines. We have grown from over 900 flight attendants to over 3,000 in less than five years. That is an incredible rate of growth for any company to accomplish. We stick together by helping each other in any way possible. Helping a sick coworker, supporting each other at work, seeking help or assistance from your local union representatives. Each and every individual who donates their time to our union is making our airline a better place to work. Many of you have traveled from quite a distance and I'd like to acknowledge our members from Alaska, Air Transport International, Air Wisconsin, Cathay Pacific, Compass, Endeavor, Envoy, Frontier, GoJet, Hawaiian, Horizon, Mesa, Miami, Norwegian, Omni, Piedmont, PSA, Silver, Spirit, and United, who have made this trip to participate in our largest AFA CWA BOD meeting. So when we use the expression, stronger together, better together, you are the people we are talking about. As we embark on another year, I am confident that our AFA CWA union will continue to be an organization that we can all be proud of. I hope that each of you will continue to make the most of your membership.